It all began on Long Island when scientists discovered a serious problem. The osprey, one of the most loved and admired of all wild birds in America, was threatened with extinction. Annual counts of the chicks and osprey nests show that reproduction was only about one-seventh normal, so obviously something was wrong. The cause of this problem was being investigated by the late Dennis Peelston, an author and biologist and one of the environmental defense founders. So I would find uh, unhatched, overdue eggs and was taking them back to the laboratory for analysis and we were finding gross amounts of uh, DDT and its metabolites in the eggs, which was obviously enough to prevent the hatchability of the eggs. The DDT Peelston found in the Osprey's eggshells was traced to the Suffolk County Mosquito Control Commission, which was spraying DDT on the marshes of Long Island. DDT is essentially insoluble in water, but quite soluble in fatty tissues. And since all organisms contain fatty tissues, they pick it up just like a sponge. The result of this process is that, that DDT is fed into food chains. It's soaked up by food chains, becoming ever more concentrated towards the top of the food chain. People are also at the top of the food chain, and there were concerns that DDT could be affecting humans as well. In fact, mother's milk, had it been in any other containers, would not have been permitted across state lines because it was carrying more DDT and was permitted in, in milk. We appealed to the Suffolk County Mosquito Commission, which was the main user of DDT in Suffolk County. They refused to listen to us. They said that DDT was killing mosquitoes and that was their job and it was cheap and easy to apply and uh, they uh, were not concerned with any other organisms that were being affected by DDT. And uh, then we realized that the only way to stop them was to file a court action. Within two weeks, there was an injunction against the Mosquito Commission, and the use of DDT by the commission was stopped. We were very impressed by the success of, of that uh, uh, action. And because of it, we incorporated the Environmental Defense Fund to use the courts as a mechanism for protecting the environment. Following that ban in Suffolk County, environmental defense led a series of actions that resulted in a permanent nationwide ban on DDT in 1972. Five years later, the level of DDT in eggs was finally going down and more eggs were hatching. Today, the osprey has returned in force. In those early years, environmental defense had no members, no budget, no staff, and no office. The trustees met in places like Sound Art Cooley's living room until 1970, when they opened a headquarters, with a staff of three, in the attic room of the Stony Brook Post Office, later expanding to an unassuming farmhouse in East Sea Talkett. By proposing better alternatives to DDT, Art Cooley, Charlie Worcester, and Dennis Peelston had taken a local problem and created a national solution.